Once again, welcome back to Science Circle. Today, our topic is Ruminant's Digestive System. Before we start, we have to see what do we mean by ruminants. The ruminants are the mammals that are able to acquire nutrients from the plant's based food by fermenting it. Example, cow, buffalo, sheep or goat. The whole of the digestive tract of a cow consists of the following parts. Mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, cecum and large intestine. The most interesting part of a ruminant stomach is that it is made up of four compartments. The rumen, the reticulum, the omasum and the abomasum. A cow may spend 35 to 40 percent of each day ruminating, that is chewing the curd. The amount of the time spent on ruminating depends upon the diet. Now how does this happen? Cattle generally graze here and there and swallow the vegetation which is partially mixed with saliva and travels down their esophagus to the rumen. Here the food is partially digested and is changed in the form of curd. Rumen is the largest stomach compartment and consists of several sacs. It can hold 25 gallons or more of material depending on the size of a cow. Here the most important enzyme cellulase which helps to digest the grass is produced. The microbes present in rumen help to digest or ferment the food and then pass it to the next compartment that is reticulum. The curd is brought back to the mouth from reticulum and chewed thoroughly. This thing is again sent back to the stomach that is to the third part omasum. Here it is sent along with the bacteria. Omasum is thrown into number of folds and increase the absorptive area. Here water and bicarbonates are absorbed. The concentrated food passes through abomasum that is called as a true stomach and releases acids to kill all the bacteria. After the complete digestion it is passed to the intestine where the absorption is also completed followed by the large intestine and the undigested food is passed out through the anus. So we can understand the whole root of digestion in cow. Here glucose is fermented into fatty acid to provide energy and gases like methane and carbon dioxide is produced. From here we can see microbes and ruminants show a symbiotic relationship as both help for their mutual benefit. Hope everyone have understood how the cellulose carbohydrate present in the grass can be digested by the action of certain bacteria which is present only in the stomach of animals called ruminants like cattle, goat, sheep, deer etc. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and you will be getting more interesting videos in this channel. Thank you.